I think it's safe to say that by now you realize that you can store your digital life safely and securely on the Media Vault. Well, so far we've only looked at the Media Vault as a digital life insurance policy, but now it's time to start living that life and enjoying all the digital media that we have stored on our Media Vault. Now, we're going to use our Media Smart TV for most of this, but first I need to return and set one geekish setting in the Media Vault settings. The Media Vault settings are kind of command central for all the different control points of the Media Vault. This is where we manage its shared folders and shared printers. Remember, we can attach a printer that the whole family can use here. But the Media Streaming is the important tab right now. Streaming media is a little more challenging than just copying large files back and forth between different devices on our network. Because when we stream video or when we stream audio, we need to control that data to make sure that it arrives on the screen or in the speakers without being interrupted so we don't have hiccups in the video or in the audio and that we have the maximum quality that we can get. So we need to enable streaming on the volumes where we store all of this different video and audio. We do that by enabling media streaming for selected folders here and it's a single step that we have to do once as we first set up the Media Vault but once that's done all of the media stored on this device can be streamed to other devices like our TV. Taking a look at the rest of the settings here, we also can manage disk settings. All of the network settings are here. And one important area is the system settings. Sometimes as you're first booting up and setting up your media vault, you have to sometimes restart it as you move along. And people tend to sometimes just unplug it or hold down the on-off button to restart it. That's really not a great way to do things with a network device. Instead, it's much more elegant to restart the device here. It's going to work a lot better by using this software restart as opposed to physically forcing the device to restart. So now a connection is going to occur between our Media Vault and our Media Smart TV. So let's grab our remote and show you how this all works. Now what we've got here is we see the Media Vault media server right here on our screen. Now what this is is it's just displaying another source to me that can deliver content to my large screen TV. Now this is no different really than having a DVD player or a VCR installed or having your set-top box delivering over-the-air content to the Media Smart TV. It's the exact same. It's just another source. And we manage our way through it just with the remote control. So now we're actually we have a two-way dialogue happening. The TV, instead of being changing channels with our remote control, is now talking to the Media Vault server through our remote control. And you see right there at the top, Universal Plug and Play AV servers, and we see the menus telling us that we have music, photos, and video. So now I can navigate my way through to the music that I've stored on my media vault and start playing the music and the music is going to play directly onto what's really the best sound system in most houses that's the system that's set up to your big screen TV so now if we can stream music then we can also stream video so the media vault can be used to store and play back all of our movies our videos our family movies or it can also store any shows that we've either downloaded from the internet or ones that we've recorded using our media center PC now, as far as feature films and television goes, for us in Canada, there are limited choices currently for downloading movies and TV shows from the Internet. There are a few services, but that's fast changing. There's more coming online all the time. And as more services are licensed to offer this sort of content, your Media Vault's going to be there, ready to store and play back all of your entertainment media. Let me just go back and show you a few of the other different media types that I have loaded right now and we'll go to photos and I moved those photos over onto the media vault a little bit earlier in the show and so if people are by we can have a slideshow showing them oh the latest family wedding or perhaps pictures from the cabin so you can have a nice slideshow of your vacation all there as well as video you can also download your own videos say from your digital camera Kim was just up in the Yukon recently and she went dog sledding which was quite an adventure and we downloaded the video onto the media vault and there's her dog sledding video front taken with a digital still camera by the way. Now the Media Vault is going to become the home for all of our media. It's the backup and access point for our music, our photos and our video. The concept of a centralized server has made sense for businesses for decades and now it's practical for our personal lives as well both in terms of price and in ease of use.